Hey guys, if you're having an issue opening up Microsoft Edge on your computer, then keep watching as in this video, I'm gonna show you a few quick and easy solutions. So the very first thing you need to do is come over to your start menu and search for task manager, then tap on the task manager tab. And inside of this search box at the top here, we're gonna go ahead and search for Edge and you need to make sure you've closed down any instances of Microsoft Edge that are currently running by right clicking and selecting end task. We can then close out of this window and next thing we're gonna do is head back to the start menu and search for Edge and this time we're going to click this button where it says new in private window and what this is going to do is it's going to launch Microsoft Edge without any of your extensions running so basically what this means is if you can run Microsoft Edge from here it basically means one of your extensions in Microsoft Edge is causing this issue and you can disable your Microsoft Edge extensions by coming into these three little dots on the right here and selecting extensions and then coming over to manage extensions and then what you need to do is make sure all of your extensions are disabled or we can disable them one by one to try and rule out which one's causing the issue and then we can close out of that window next thing you can do is come back to the start menu and search for settings then tap on the settings icon and come over to apps in the left here inside of installed apps and using this search box we're going to type in edge then hit these three little dots to the right and select modify. Then we can go through the steps on this screen to try and repair Microsoft Edge. Give this a few minutes to complete and this is going to detect any problems that may be causing the issue. Another thing you can do here is come down into the left of Windows Update and click this check for updates button to ensure that we're running the latest version of Windows as outdated software can also cause problems with the internet browser. Now if you've tried those steps and that's still not working the next thing we can do is come back to the start menu and search for run tap on the run tab and inside of this search box you need to type in ms config and hit enter come inside of the services tab and select hide all microsoft services and then we need to click disable all then click apply and come into the startup tab select open task manager and from here come into the startup apps tab and we need to disable all of our applications from here make sure the status is set to disabled we can just right click and select disable the reason for this is we're just trying to make sure that none of our background applications are causing this issue and once you've disabled all of your apps you can close out of this window and then the next thing we're going to do is come back to the start menu and search for cmd then right click on the command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. Inside of here, you need to type in the following command, sfc space slash scan now and hit enter. And this is going to scan all of your core Windows system files to ensure that nothing's corrupt or missing. Just wait for this verification process to get to 100% and then we can close out this command prompt window. Now, the very last thing you can do if you're still encountering an issue is come over to your start menu and search for Windows Store. And you need to install Microsoft Edge from inside of this Windows Store by coming to the search box and typing in Microsoft Edge and then click on the Microsoft Edge browser to install it. And that's it guys, hopefully by following all of these steps that's now fixed any issues you're having with Microsoft Edge. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.